Atomy has been doing really well, and there is a reason for this. The reason why it is doing so well is actually very simple. It's because we are faithful to our principles. Generally, people say that you will do well if you faithfully follow the principles, um, and I'd say that's true. Since Atomy's principles are based on distribution, there really is no need to overthink it. Principles are always very simple. Water flows from a higher elevation to a lower one, right? Likewise, distribution is the selling of great products at low prices. If you do that, distribution will work. A restaurant will do well if the food is tasty, the restaurant is clean, and the price is inexpensive. So any form of distribution will work if you are faithful to the principles. All you need to do is do your best to find ways to make the goods low priced and be able to select the best quality. In business administration, this is called selection and focus. Basically, we look for and we focus on our principles by figuring out the best way to find uh, great products. When we select the products, we make sure we select ones that are of the highest quality. After that, we consider if we can sell this great product at a lower price in comparison to those of the same quality. Thus, um, when you learn about the Atomy products, you will be satisfied with the quality first. You will also realize that the price is lower than anywhere else, and so you continually use it. This business actually works because it is so simple. However, if you look at all the other MLM companies, they didn't follow these principles for the last 50 to 60 years. Usually the MLM products were known to be of really great quality, but were they inexpensive? That wasn't the case. Generally, they were on the expensive side. So why would smart people buy expensive products? There is a reason for buying these expensive products. Due to these people buying expensive products, MLM has been seen as a social problem. Why? There must be a reason why smart people bought expensive products, right? Well, they weren't buying the product, but rather the opportunity. They were buying the opportunity, the expectation, and the possibility of making money. Now, if this possibility of making money were to become actualized, well, that would be great. However, that was only true for a few people at the top, and it wouldn't work for the majority if any of the other people involved. In the end, these people wouldn't be able to get their desired income. Let's say you already paid the price. You paid a price that was beyond the product's cost. Now, if the profit that you expected isn't actualized, you will say that you suffered a loss. Since this is the case, whenever you are buying Atomy products, you should be considering a few things. First, you need to determine if you like or want to use this product. Next, you have to find out if this product is being sold at a lower price somewhere else. If these two conditions are fulfilled, that's when you should buy it. Everyone should be doing this. If everyone did, would there be any loss? No one would suffer a loss. Why? Most of the products we sell are daily necessities. These are not products that you haven't used before. You're just continually using products that you've already used. Even if you don't buy them from Atomy, you can still get these products somewhere else. Yet, if you don't buy these, your quality of life will drastically drop. 
For example, how does it feel to go a day without brushing your teeth? You feel gross, right? What about not washing your hair for a few days? Your head's going to get itchy. That's why you buy daily necessities before anything else. Ladies, what would you do if you couldn't use cosmetics for even a day? You probably wouldn't go out. Yeah. You would either stay home or you'd go out to buy it. So all these products are ones that you have used before. And you will continue to use them because they are daily necessities. You're not buying these products just because of atomy. You're buying them to live like a decent human being. There would be no reason not to buy them if they were high quality and low price. Thus, there should be no one suffering any loss by using atomy products. Actually, you could suffer a loss even with this great product. The way you can suffer a loss with this kind of product would be by decreasing its value and usefulness by overbuying it. This is known as the law of diminishing marginal utility. For example, let's say you ate a meal when you were hungry. The meal would be very effective. Yet, when you get a second order, you'll probably just nibble at it. You'd be too full to even try to eat a third meal, right? From that point on, the meals would become a negative marginal utility. Likewise, when daily necessities are needed, like this toothpaste, it has great utility. Even purchasing two or three of them is okay. Why? Because you can use them later. Now, if you had 10 of these, it wouldn't necessarily mean that it has 10 times more utility than just having one. If you had hundreds or thousands, it would become a hassle to store them. And it becomes a headache when you have to deal with 10,000 of them. Because you also have to think about the expiration date of the product. Thus, the more of the same product that you have, the more likely it will become a diminishing utility. So, if you buy more than what is needed, even if it was bought at a lower price, the value of the product you buy will be less than what you paid. Only when you buy the necessary amount for you will you be able to maintain the worth and have positive utility. Therefore, when you buy these products, you must not purchase more than what is already needed. You won't get the same utility or worth simply by buying more. Although we have this principle, what would happen if you bought a lot to get a promotion? Well, the value of the product would drop due to having too much, right? Yeah then why would you buy a product with lesser value? You bought it in expectation for the future promotion. Yet this expectation might or might not become a reality. When it doesn't become a reality, people believe that they suffered a loss. With network marketing, even though you make the decisions yourself, these people believe they sustained a loss. There are a lot of people who feel like this. People need to realize that they weren't doing sales, which is what network marketing is all about. Instead, these people were actually investing because when you buy a product, you compare the value and the price of a product before making an exchange. That's how both sides can profit. Let's say the toothpaste was $2.90 and that having this toothpaste is more profitable than just keeping the $2.90. Even if it cost $4, you would still buy it. So how much profit would that be if you bought it for $2.90? you'd make a profit of $1.10, right? Thus, 
You would buy it because you can profit from it. This is known as the principle of consumer benefits. Then why would the producers sell like this? To them, it is more beneficial for them to get money rather than holding on to all the manufactured products. Why? They were able to produce the product for less than $2.90. Hence, the producers make a profit. All of this follows the principle of mutual benefit. Now, the network marketing business is slightly unique because some people will buy a position that will make money by purchasing the products. However, that position or uh, the expected profit has both the possibility of success and failure. Thus, this is classified as an investment and not as sales because you are purchasing things that might or might not have a return. So, when you do the network marketing business, you must not make any investments. Rather, you should buy only what you require when you need it. If you do, you won't suffer any losses. Now, if these products are great and low priced, do you think they will sell or not? As long as you tell others they will certainly sell, then why don't people buy the Atomy toothpaste or shampoo? The reason is really very simple. It's because they don't know about these great and inexpensive products. How are these products after you use them? There's no reason to use anything else, right? You'll continue to buy and use the product. I want you to remember that Atomy, there is no maintenance fee. You don't need to buy a certain amount to get your masterships or commissions. What does that mean? You are selling these products simply based on their own worth. We aren't the only ones selling toothpaste. It's being sold at the discount stores, department stores, at supermarkets. Yet, why don't you buy it from there? What's different? You all use Atomy products, right? So why don't you buy toothpaste elsewhere? and only use the Atomy toothpaste? Is it because you need to buy a certain amount? No, it's because the quality is great. Sometimes when I travel, I forget to pack the Atomy toothpaste. That's when I use the toothpaste provided by the hotel. Yet for some reason, I don't like using the hotel toothpaste. I tell myself, why did you forget to pack it? And I don't feel at ease throughout the whole trip. It's because that's how good this toothpaste is. Actually, all of our products are really good. At these hotels, they give you pretty decent shampoos. Most of the time, they provide brand name toiletries like lotions or soaps, shampoos. However, I prefer the less expensive Atomy products. I always pack several Atomy products when I travel and I would line them up in the bathroom as soon as I arrive and use them. Why? Because that's how great they are. Other products seem to have a strong smell and I just don't like that. Hence, I always pack the Atomy products when I travel. I do this because, first and foremost, the quality is to my satisfaction. The products are also very inexpensive. The leaders, just like you, buy these products because they are all satisfied with them. All of them. Anyway, all the products that we are selling each have their own value and their own worth. And that is why we repeatedly buy and use them. When we talk about being faithful to our principles, it means that the products we are selling are determined. The price is decided and the time is confirmed. Thus, you are not investing into something for an expected profit. So, if someone that you know 
tells you to buy products to get a promotion in mastership, uh, you should be opposed to that idea. Fight back and don't listen to that person. Don't listen. Yeah, that's what it means to be courageous. The first thing you should say is, I don't do that kind of thing. I will only buy what I need and I will raise the sales by doing my best and finding a lot of consumers. By doing so, the consumers I find will continuously buy the products and my income will be guaranteed. Let's just say you did buy a lot just to get a promotion. And even if you did get the promotion bonus, what will you do the next month? You will most likely be exhausted and not get a promotion. You will think, I did all that work only to suffer a loss. This is the situation that you will be in. The only way you should be increasing sales is by finding consumers who will repeatedly use the products. This is the heart of the Atomy business. If you can follow this principle, there will be no victims and the business will be that much better. Distribution is all about finding consumers. There's a reason to why you can make money quickly after finding consumers. Once you find two people, those people find two others, making it four people, which will then become eight, then 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on like that. You earn money quickly because it continues on like this. Instead of finding 100 or 200 people on your own, you only need to find a few, those few will find others, and so on. Since it works like this, the speed of expansion is rapid, which in turn will help you earn money quickly. That's why you need to understand the principles. Now, the clever people will say, ah, so this will work if I find a few consumers. If this is what you think, you're a smart person. If you think, I will need tens of thousands of people to become a star master. I only know John, Jane, and a few other people. I can only think of like five people, so how am I going to find that many people? If you're thinking processes like this, then you're probably not very clever. Even if you had a perfect test score, you're not very smart. You don't have to have good grades in school or go to a good college. If you think, I only need to find some people who will find others themselves, or I might not be smart, but someone smarter than me could show up, or I might be a half smarter, but I could get a lot of full smarters, then you are a very clever person. Why are you smart? People who think like this are the ones who succeed. All in all, this business is really very simple. The number of Atomy members is over 5 million. Now, how many of those people do you think I personally recruited? 17 people? No way. I didn't find the first 17 members. Truthfully, I think I found five members. But somehow, it became what it is today. It wasn't that I knew the original 17 members from the beginning. I reached out to one or two people, and these people invited the other 17. These members started doing the business, and it expanded to two to 300 people. Some of you might not have 10 or 20 partners, and maybe you feel very frustrated. Well, even when I had 17 members, I told them that Atomy would become a global company. That's what I told them. Currently, Atomy has expanded into the US, Canada, and Japan. But getting there, it was a slow process. Royal Club members would go there every month not worrying about the lines and with the super synergy of United Heart mindset to give seminars, and this is the result. There are a lot of people coming to the seminars in the States. In Japan, over a thousand people came to the seminar. 
which is something that is very uncommon in Japan. Many people are attending these seminars. So, in the US, Canada, and Japan, the atomy business has begun to take on some momentum. When I went to Japan, I found out that there was an article about atomy in one of the network marketing magazines. Somehow, the journalists found out and did an article about us. Of course, they could have just used an article about us from a Korean magazine, but they wrote that Atomy was growing at a rapid pace. This was the kind of article that was found in the Japanese magazine. In Taiwan, the, the total monthly sales is already over $6 million. Even in Korea, due to our growth rate, which is about 40% growth in the first half, we are on the verge of becoming number one. Starting with Cambodia. We are also opening in Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines, which means that we will grow at an even faster pace. However, even with all these openings, we haven't begun our main plan of action. There are still three major markets that haven't been touched. Those three markets are in China, India, and South America. If we consider these three major markets, we haven't even reached 10% of our goals. With these markets in mind, Atomy will most likely grow at a very rapid pace for some time in the future. As long as you continually do your best to find more consumers, you'll be able to succeed alongside Atomy. Some of you might think, I've never even been to India. None of my relatives knows anybody from India. I don't know what language they speak in Mexico. I don't even know anything about Brazil. So what do these markets have anything to do with me? If you think that, then you are the foolish people who were smart in school. So, who would be the smart ones? My mother didn't go to school, but she is very smart. If she says that will work out, then it does work out. If she asks how is that possible, then it usually doesn't work. Even if you didn't study, if you're able to grasp the situation, then you are very smart. So if you think, ah, if I continually do my best to find consumers, I will find someone who speaks English well. Further down the line of this English speaker, there will be someone who can speak Spanish. That person will be able to spread it in Argentina, Colombia, and Mexico. Someone from there who speaks Portuguese will go to Brazil and then spread the Atome business there. Even further down the line, it somehow gets to India and I will be able to get commission from there as well. If this is what goes on in your mind, then you are a very smart person. You could be living this difficult life right now because you didn't study or do very well in school. We live in a world where those who studied well got everything. I really hated the world because I wasn't that smart. Those who are like me, forget about the past. Forget it. Because the Atomy business is not about how good of a student you ever were. Even I wasn't that good of a student. The only place you can satisfy this resentment is through Atomy. Why? Well, even if you can't study, can you say, I used this toothpaste and it's great? When they ask the price, 
you tell them and that they need to become a member to get it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. Now, how can you do the atomy business better? You tell a person the same thing, but then move on to the next person. After telling that person, you find another person to tell. If they don't buy it, you just keep moving on. The person who can continuously tell others is the one who will be successful with atomy. It has nothing to do with how smart you are. For some reason, the smart ones tend to look at the labels and begin analyzing them. They're not that great at doing business. If you use the product and you're able to tell others how good it is, then you'll be able to do well in this business. When you do the Atomy business, you don't need to study. People study the product only when they are afraid of talking to others. So all they do is study the products. If you don't know what to talk about, then just talk because it will help you improve. You will get better with practice. You also shouldn't value people too highly. Don't think, what will I do if they refuse? Don't worry about that. There are plenty of people out there. We have a world full of people, right? Just practice talking with people. If they refuse because of something you said, then just leave them be and move on. You do that again with the next person. If they don't like it, you move on. You can always try to do better with the next person. No matter how foolish you are, after 10 or 20 people, will you be good at it? Of course you will. If not, talk to 100 people. There are still millions and millions of people even after the 100 mistakes. So don't worry about it. Additionally, don't worry about what you're going to say. Instead of worrying, you just need to talk. Do it as if it were practice and then let them go. You can always get them back after you become successful. When they ask, what did you do to earn all that money? You can talk about the time you tried to explain about the toothpaste and that you became successful with it. That person will then get courage because they realize that even half-smarters can do it. This method is the essence of recruiting. If you're able to speak well from the beginning, then people will go, wow, if that's how good I have to be, then I don't think I can do it. And then they won't do it. Yet if you just talked in the beginning and was able to earn money later, they will think, if you're that successful, then it will be easy as pie for me. The best way to do business is to do it however you can. Do you get what I'm saying? You also have to be ready to let people go. Yeah. Because there are still millions of people out there. Do you know why you can't let people go? You can't let go because you only tell the people you know. Why? You only know a few people, and you think it's over once they're gone. That's it. Instead of thinking like that, you need to be able to tell strangers, because once you do, that's when you'll be successful. Are you able to let go of strangers easily? It's a lot easier, isn't it? You practice all you want. You just let them go. When you talk to them later, they will see how you succeeded. And you can truly recover them later. You shouldn't overthink the atomy business. People who don't overthink things are the ones who do well. When I see people lacking who start at me saying, 
I'm going to succeed and make 50000 a month. You'll see. I worry about whether or not they can actually do it. Mm. I think, I know anyone can do atomy, but... Yet after some time, those are the ones who do succeed. So, don't take doing business too seriously. And don't study anything. Don't study the products. Or try to analyze the labels either. Do you go to the discount store and analyze the labels before buying something? You don't buy it like that. You buy what you saw in an ad. Instead, just casually talk to the people that you meet. It's the same with recruiting. This business isn't just about you telling people. As you talk to more and more people, there will be those who can only do the atomy business. They can't do anything else but atomy. Who are these people? Those who are too old to get a job. The people who want to start a business, but they have no capital. The ones who don't have any skills or talents, but need a way to make money. That's exactly what Atomy is about, since it's not concerned with any of that. Yet there are many people like this. These people don't have any other way. You might not have other measures, but there are those who are less fortunate. And that is the vision of this business. So, even if you do your best talking to others, it's not about how well you can talk or people being moved or persuaded by your words. They can only do this atomy business because they have nothing else to do. All the leaders from the beginning also had nothing else that they could do. If they could do something else, they would not have done atomy. They didn't have any special talent or even any money as well. If they had money to travel, they could do something about it, but they didn't even have that. So they couldn't do anything else except atomy. You need to pay for education, kits, and entry fees at other MLM companies. However, since Atomy doesn't even have any of that, it was the only network marketing business that they could actually get into. They didn't have the spirit for success or a company to help them succeed. Instead of just idling away and doing nothing, they thought, why not just see what happens? Some of those who just followed along became successful later. When you do this business, you should do it casually. Because there's no need to be too earnest about it. If you meet someone at a bus stop, just casually say to them, life sure is hard nowadays, right? Because it is hard for a lot of people. A, quite a lot of people. At least 70% of the people live a hard life. You can then say, my life is difficult too. But I think I've found some hope. It will allow me to earn $50,000 a month. I don't know if I'm dreaming or not. But if it's the same for you, do you want to join me? If you have a better idea, then that's great for you. Just be casual like that. Don't be so serious about it. When you talk to your relatives, just throw it on out there. It's going to be hard to see me later. I started doing this big business that will earn me $50,000 a month. Why not learn about it now when you can? Otherwise, it's going to be hard to see me later on. Even to your friends, you can say, I don't want you to get angry at me later. 
So I'm telling you now, it's your choice on whether you or not you want to do this. I think my future looks very promising. I'm telling you now because I don't want you to resent me for not informing you about it sooner. So just listen, okay? Don't have a grudge later because I'm telling you now. You continue. Actually, I can't really explain it very well. If you want to know what I'm doing, why don't you join me and listen to the people who can? It's not like you have anything else to do, right? Instead of just idling time away at a coffee shop after hiking, come with me to Songnisan and listen. Talk to them in a casual manner. There's no advantage in being too serious. Even if you talk like this, there will be frustrated people who will come. That's why it's very important to just talk to others. All you need to do is just start the Atomy business. Don't worry about when, you just need to start now. Don't worry about how, you just need to do it. All you need to do is have a very clear and detailed image in your mind about how you want to succeed and what your successful life will be like. This image will become your motivation and driving force. This will give you that needed energy, all the things that you dream about, want to become, and the life you want to live need to become almost like a movie in your mind. As this movie continues to play in your mind, your body will change accordingly. Our bodies can't really differentiate between what is real and what is imaginary. For example, if you imagine yourself eating a pomegranate, your mouth will begin to water, right? Just thinking about eating a nice, refreshing tangerine will make your mouth water as well. Whether you imagine it or actually eat it, your body can't tell the difference. If you imagine that you will truly earn $50,000 a month in your mind, your expressions, your actions, even the way that you talk will change into those of a person who earns $50,000 a month. Your friends will think, that's not good. I'll be in a jam if only he is making $50,000 a month, and then they're going to follow. So if you truly believe that you will make $50,000 a month, then you need to visualize yourself as a royal master. However, that image in your head won't always be there because it will get erased from time to time. That's why you need to come here and write your life scenario and remind yourself every time it gets erased. When you continually visualize this way, you will someday realize that you have become the main character in your movie. This is called the law of success. And my successor will come out to explain this concept. Thank you for listening.